Hey everyone, I'm Odette Maimoni, and today I'm diving into one of the most powerful features in Power BI, Drill True. I'll show you exactly how to set it up step by step with right click on the visual or read click on separate button on the page. Plus, I'll walk you through how to let the user control what they see in the details page. If you want to make your report smarter and your user happier, stay tuned. Get my money. I'm here in the Power BI desktop. I have this page and I want to allow the user, the customer of this dashboard, to be able to see what behind those numbers. I want to allow the user to click on the uh, one of the uh, values in some of the visuals and to see and investigate what these numbers are with more data, with more uh, ability to uh, investigate and look the whole picture behind. Like that, when I see this yellow uh, bar, I want to right click on it and drill through, see the details. And right now I can see the details of the number that I click on in this table. Obviously I can put more data here that allow the user to see uh, all the uh, data that he need to understand what he needs to understand and make this report more actionable. So let's start from scratch how I created this drill through option. So first of all, what you have to do is to create one more page. This page will be the page that the drill through will navigate to. So this is like the drill down uh, data that you want the user to be able to see the, the raw data. And you can give it a name, you can give it uh, like drill through details, whatever you think the user will understand better that this is the whole data page. Here, before I put anything on the screen, I want this page to be the drill through page. So how I set it? If you see, you have here the, the zone of the drill through. What you need to do? Each of the measures that I put in the dashboard here in this page, I, want, I need to put here all the measures that I used in this page. If I want this visual to be uh, with the options to drill through, I have to put the sale measure on this, on this area. So like that, I will go to this sales measure, measure and I drag this measure here. Automatically, it know that I'm going to use this page as a drill through page, and it created this arrow that allowed the user to go back after it drilled through to this page. So you can obviously design it as you want, but keep it because you want the, the user to be able to go back to the same report that he was when he click on the drill through because this is like a um, page that you want to see the info and then go back to the page that you be in. Okay, so after I put this measure here, I want to create this drill through page. So I'm going to put here table because with table you can allow the user to see raw data. You obviously can put whatever visuals you want here. But the main goal of this option, of this feature, is to, able, to be able to see the raw data. So if you put here more visuals, it can be confusing to the users. So I want the user to click on the yellow or silver or one of the, blue, or one of the colors here and to see more data about that. So I'm going to put here the measure because I want uh, them to see the, the values and then how they split between the attributes. So from the DIM product, I'm going to put the color. Basically, this is the value that, that exists in the visual. I'm not have to put this one, but I'm going to give whatever information the user uh, will be able to see the data and analyze it better. So I'm going to give more details from the product table. Okay, so if this is enough for me, I can go back to this page 
And right now, when I right click on this visual, I can see I have this drill through option. And when I go to details, it will navigate me to this page with the, the filter of the yellow of the visual that of the part of the uh, in the visual that I click on. You can also see the filters being applied here. You can see it put the color is yellow in this filter. So it automatically does this filtering. It, you don't have to think about it. If you can see here, I have this KPI. I have here two measures. If I click right click on orders, I don't have this option because I, I didn't put the measure orders in the part of the drill through. But if I right click on the sales, I can see this option. So let's go back to the details and let's add the orders to the measure options. It doesn't matter the, the ordering of the sort of this, uh, of this uh, measure here. It doesn't matter. You can just drag it. Okay, I put the orders and right now when I right click the orders, it also gave me this option. So this is basically how you create it. This is very simple. As you can see, it's just creating a separate page with the measures that you want the user to be able to drill down with. And this is it. Each of the pages in the reports will be able to drill through if you're using the, the same measure that you put down here. I mean, if I'm going to create right now more pages with these measures, it keeps the option to drill through. So this is very cool option. Some of the users not, don't find this so intuitive to right click because even if you give disclaimers or even uh, uh, with uh, hover uh, that there is an option to right click, uh, they don't find it very intuitive and I can understand it because I don't know, right click, then find a way to drill through. This is not something that all the users find, find very um, a helpful and easy to do. So there is another option to go to this drill through. It is with button. You just creating a button. You can give it a name in the style area. You can see, you can give it a text. And here you can click, write whatever you want. You can even put some functions. It means you can create measure, text measure, and just put whatever you think it will be uh, easier to the user to understand this is a button that allow, allow them to drill through the data. Okay, so with this action, with, with this bottom action, you can choose drill through. This is one of the options. The in the destination, choose the right navigation to the drill through. I uh, toggle off this the tooltip because if you want it, you can put it uh, for me now, it doesn't help. So right now you can see this drill through button is disabled. But when I'm clicking on some of the values, you can see this button is being enabled to being clicked. And when I click on it, it navigates me and do the same action that I did with the right click. So again, I click on one of the options. Instead of right click, this drill through button becoming alive and allow me to click on it and it will, will navigate you to the raw data page. This is nice because this is easier to understand when, than the right click. Obviously, you know your audience. So if your customers are technical people and will easy to understand that you can right click data and details and go to the details, you choose whatever you think will be easier to your audience. But I'm going, I'm, I'm showing you here all of the options that are available in the Power BI. So you can also use this one. You can obviously design this button, make it more your um, oriented to your organization with the design. So just use whatever imagination with the design. Um, 
but this is how you can use this drill through. If you like my content, this is your time to subscribe my channel. Thank you. One of the things that I love to do is to create this page more self-service self for the user. It means that I want him to be able to choose whether measure he wants to see in this page or whatever attributes he wants to be to put in the pet table and how I create it in Power BI. Parameter fields. I created a tutorial that explains step by step how to create power metal fields. I'm going to create it right now with you. I'm going to the modeling area. From here, I, create, I click on new parameter and fields. Here, I give a name for this group of measures or group of power or group of fields that uh, I'm going to select here. So. I'm going to create two parameter fields, one for measures and one for columns. I'm going to start with the columns. So I'm going to name it column list. And here I'm going to choose whatever column that I think that the user find useful to see in the table and how to split and see the data uh, in the way that it will help him understand the things that he need to understand. So maybe I give the currency. I can choose whatever from the DIM customers, maybe times. I can choose whatever column I want. Okay, maybe this is it. This is the list and I'm keeping that this check-in that means that it automatically creating slicer for me. So I'm going to create it. Okay, you can see the table. I can edit this table and add for this list whatever in a column I want just by uh, adding a comma and just copy one of the rows and adjust it to the new column that I want to add. Okay, so it created auto it created automatically this slicer. I'm going to adjust it to be more functionable by disable this option. And I'm going to remove all the attributes from the table and, and just add the, the column list that I just created. Right now, you can see each of the columns because none of them has been filtered. I'm going to add also the select all options so it will be easier to select all and i just want if i just want to see specific columns or maybe just one of them with my measure this is very nice way to allow the user to control what he see also i can do the same for the measures so if i'm going to delete and i have al already this measure list the same as i did for columns just four measures i'm going to drag it to the table and also i'm going to create slicer with the same measure list amazing so you can see right now all of the measures but if i want to see just one of them with color and to see the currency so this is very nice and good way to allow the users to self-service the data and also um, change this table to pivot table i mean matrix table and put the measure in the values and the column in the rows so you can see this way the data you can also redesign it and do uh, all of the adjustment that you need so this is for the self-service side. Remember this nice trick. This is very, very uh, useful for your clients. Okay, so after I showed you the drill through option, I want to add some more comment about that because I had experience with a lot of clients and my customers doesn't always seem this option, even if they are technical people. 
they not find it very intuitive or I explain, I explain why. I see these numbers and I want to see what's behind that. If I right click or go to another page with a drill through, I have to remember the number that I chose. And if I want to see other things in the page, all, visu all the visual at one big picture, it doesn't allow me that because it navigates me to separate page. So it means that each time I have to go back, click on the data, see remember things and then go back to the page. I don't find it very uh, useful or very good way to work. The best option that I think will be, uh, that will allow your customers to see the visuals and also analyze the raw data and see the, the values and the information behind the numbers is to create the table inside the page. Of course, we don't have a lot of space all the time. Obviously, we can adjust the canvas setting with the height and weight that we want. But if we add in the table to this page, let's do this for a second. I'm going to delete, de delete this button, moving some things here to make the space. Let's keep it with regular table and copy paste the table to this page. And right now, if I want to see the data behind what's going on in the visual, I just click it and Power BI automatically do what that, the, uh, the filtering in the page because all of the uh, visuals here are connection, connected and affect each other. So it means when I click on the yellow, only the yellow color is filtered in these tables. It also did this for the other visuals. So it means the user can see all of the picture at the same page and it doesn't require for him to navigate and jump between pages, remember in his head what he clicked on and what was the number. This is the best way to see the big picture at once and as fast as it, it can be. So whenever I click on something here, it filter the data and give the, the, the data, the raw data at the same page. Also can be, can be exported and all of this can be at the same page without the navigation. So this is my two cents about it because I experience customers and their reaction to features and keep it simple, maybe, this is the way uh, for some of the customers. This is it for today. If you have any question, just ask me in the comments and I will answer you. Thank you so much. See you in my next video.